there's a lot of pride. Uh, we're very specialized. There's only 20 aircraft. Um, so it's, there's a lot of unit cohesion that goes on there because we are the only ones. And uh, being a part of that air superiority, being able to reach out and touch the enemy anytime, anywhere, it's, uh, it's an awesome feeling. Air superiority is very important and uh, nuclear deterrence is very important and both of those are the main uh, key points of the B-2 mission. Um, so being on point with your maintenance is incredibly important, especially in a wartime, uh, whether we're playing or we're actually, you know, going to mess people up. Dealing with the, the different elements, you know, the jet reacts differently to uh, different placements, so you have to, you have to kind of work around certain problems that might prop up here that won't pop up home station wise as far as personal elements you would have to maybe you have to leave your family you saw all, your life still goes on when you're at home and you have to just prepare for that when you go TDY things don't stop people keep going things keep happening you have to balance both in the TDY aspect and in like the home aspect I feel like there's a certain amount of prestige being assigned to a, uh, a B2 there's only about 20 of them so you get being a, a DCC a ADCC of one of those is very very rare and it's a very very it's a, it's, a, it's a good honor to be chosen to be one of those, to crew one of these jets. It makes everybody scared. When we take off, it's a big deal. Anywhere we go, it's a big deal. So in that, in that aspect, it's a, a very scary jet.
はじめまして。私は第二十爆撃の飛行隊のジュリアン・グラク・タイです。Good afternoon, everyone. I am Captain Julian Gluck of the 20th Expeditionary Bomb Squadron. I go by Cosmo. And I am here with the B 52 with the 20th EBS Buccaneers at Anderson Air Force Base for the Cope North exercise. Graduated from the Academy in 2012. I majored in poly sci and got a minor in Japanese. And towards the end of my time there, I heard about the language enabled airmen program. I applied, and over the course of being in that program throughout my, my short Air Force career so far, with pilot training and flying bombers, I've had the opportunity to go to Japan three times. I've found that these programs and a little bit of study on my own have been useful, whether we have Japanese dignitaries、uh, that want to learn about the B 52, like we just had today, or just ordering sushi.、Uh, it, it's been a very opening experience, and I've, I've enjoyed the Air Force allowing me to pursue one of my、uh, passions here. The most rewarding part has honestly been coming from a very、uh, small town in Georgia and a, a family that、uh, we spoke English solely in the home. Being able to learn Japanese or For a lot of people to leave any other language that they learn,、uh, it, it's just wild to think about、uh, coming from this background and what the Air Force has afforded me to learn. And、uh, going to a sushi restaurant and being able to order the sushi in Japanese and being able to check out Japanese aircraft taxiing by, it's been pretty cool. Full Aurora is one of our biggest bomber assurance and deterrence missions we've done to date. BAD, or Bomber Assurance and Deterrence Missions, are missions designed to、uh, show our NATO and allied partners around the world that we can, at a moment's notice, project our global reach and global power to those parts of the world. Well, one thing that's pretty interesting about the B 52 is the B 52, the ones that we're flying today have been around and they were built in 1960. So, if you look at the B 52 and how long it's been in service, it's one of the longest、uh, lasting airplanes in the U.S. inventory at this time. And one thing that I think is interesting about the B 52 is many different generations have flown this aircraft.、Uh, my father flew the B 52. You know, now I've flown the B 52 for、uh, about 18 years. So there's many different stories like that where different generations have flown the same aircraft over and over again. Well, on Anderson, the B 52's mission is to provide stability to the Pacific AOR. 
And it does this basically in two different ways. One is it provides stability by um, deterrence of any potential adversaries. And the other way that it provides stability is it also reassures our allies that if uh, they should you know, meet any aggression from these potential adversaries that we would be there to respond uh, quickly and decisively. After the Vietnam War, we had a large cache of bombs that were here at Anderson. The most prolific bomb that was here was the M117. This is a 750-pound bomb that was used in uh, Vietnam during the Arclight Raids. It was basically designed to um, make sure that the North Vietnamese were back to the bargaining tables. After the Vietnam War ended, those weapons were still here. And uh, they're, you know, 1970s uh, type of weapon. And so they've been dropped for the last uh, 30 years or so on a range up here north of the island. And uh, last year they dropped the last of those weapons. So it was a good history marker from 30 years ago all the way up until now to drop the last weapons. Once we employ today, the H model was built in the 60s. So the strength of the B-52 is not really in the platform itself, but it's in the airmen. It takes several hours of ground operations for every hour that it flies in the air. So when they're flying long duration sorties, the air crew flies a 20 hour sortie, for example. When they land, it will take well over 20 hours to get that B-52 ready to fly again. It is on the uh, airmen and the, uh, the maintenance crews to make sure that they keep this uh, aircraft still viable today as it was throughout history. Being a maintainer on the B-52 has given me a true sense of pride, not only from the various missions or exercises that we have conducted, the rich history that the B-52 possesses, but having the ability to meet air crew and ground crew that worked on the B-52 from the 60s and 70s. The B-52 has definitely left a historical mark here on Anderson. During the Vietnam era, the B-52, its main capability was carpet bombing, which essentially it just dropped munitions out of the bomb bay, whereas now we can still do that as well as launch Alcums and Calcums, which we can launch up to two to three hours away from our target and the aircrafts being outside of the blast radius. My best experience here on Anderson has definitely been the camaraderie um, between air crew and ground crew creating that bond and creating that trust where ground crew does their job and air crew trusts us that we did our job properly so that they can conduct their missions effectively. B-52 has definitely paid its dues here at Anderson and it's going to be sorely missed, but we're looking forward to uh, a new era of bringing in the B-1 and a different airframe to make history here at Anderson with the B-1s.